The Jehovah's Witnesses are known as the International Bible Students Association and the Washtar Society was founded in 1870 in the United States as a Christian Adventist Millennialist and revi Revivalist organization. The Witnesses professed their loyalty only to Jehovah and believed that they would prevail after the Battle of Armageddon as victorious elect in the thousand year period of heavenly peace. They refused to serve the army of any nation and to give their allegiance to any government. A non-conformist group, they were disliked for their opposition to the First World War. Their disdain toward all governments and their early support of the return of the Jews to the Holy Land. In the aftermath of the First World War, the Jehovah's Witnesses increased their numbers in Germany, probably because of the disillusionment with the war, the search for spiritual meaning and the vigorous door-to-door -door proselytizing and pamphleteering of the organization. The actions and attitude of the witnesses, however, provoked hostility among conservative nationalists for the witnesses and anti-militarism and opposition from established churches, especially the Catholic, whom the witnesses accused of conspiring to rule the world. Nazi anti-Semitic Semites, such as Alfred Rosenberg accused the witnesses of being a tool of the international Jewish conspiracy since they exalted Jehovah and contemned, condemned anti-Semitism. Once the Nazis came to power in 1933, drastic changes occurred in both the German government and the Watchtower Society. The witnesses refused to give the Hitler salute or to serve in the Wirchmarch state governments banned the Watchtower Society. The Society's new president, Franklin Joseph Rutherford, traveled from the headquarters in America to Berlin in June 1933 to hold a conference at which he attempted to adapt the organization to the new re regime. In a long statement entitled A Declaration of Facts, Rutherford emphasized that the Jews rejected Jesus and had built up the big business of the Anglo-American empire. A major 2004 study by M. James Pentant provides a full translation of the document and is more critical of the Rutherford and his German deputy, Paul Baz Bazerit, that is the Garb. In his preface, Garb accused Penton of having deep-seated aversion against this religious association of which he had once been a member. Though Garb acknowledges that Rutherford's conciliatory stance toward Hitler was prompted by political calculation, he fails to mention that Rutherford continued to make anti-Semitic statements well into the 1930s and beyond. When Hitler continued to persecute and arrest members of the Watchtower Society, Rutherford threatened divine retribution against Germany and exhorted the witnesses to continue proselytizing and pamphleteering. By 1935, the Nazis stepped up to their persecution and arrests of the witnesses and their leaders. Garb provides interesting evidence that the German courts were sometimes lenient toward accused witnesses, but that the Gestapo and the military bypassed the judiciary and began sending witnesses to prison and to concentration camps. The February 28, 1933 Reichstag Fire Emergency Decree eradicated any constitutional protections of personal and religious freedom. Garb compares some of the instruments of persecution against the witnesses with the actions taken against the Jews. The Jehovah's Witnesses were the first religious group along with the Jews to be persecuted by Nazi regime. Like the Jews, the witnesses were removed from the civil service, dismissed from their jobs, humiliated, and expelled from the schools. Out of approximately 30,000 witnesses living in the Germany, living in Germany in 1933, approximately 10,000 were arrested and approximately 1,200 lost their lives through starvation, beatings, and various forms of brutal treatment. <clears throat> 
Some who resisted military service were executed to set an example. Witnesses were also arrested in the countries conquered by the Nazis. Hundreds were sent to the concentration camps, especially those who continued to proselyze. In the camps, they were forced to wear a purple triangle on their uniforms and were humiliated. So today, we see that uh, Jehovah's Witnesses continue to make the same kind of stance. Now, what's interesting about Rutherford, Rutherford actually thought he was going to make a deal with, uh, with Nazi, with Hitler. And he went and had meetings and he, he said, look, he said, we're just like you. We're against the Jews. We're against the Catholics. We're against all these people. And that's where this declaration came in. And, and he went out and had all the witnesses uh, go door to door with this, this declaration. And uh, the historians uh, agree that uh, this actually may have cost, um, the stance for sure has cost uh, all the deaths of all the Jehovah's Witnesses in Germany. And therefore, when we look at Rutherford as a cult leader, we, we really look at Rutherford as, as uh, blood guilty for all of the deaths. And when we look at this as an example that's leading into our day, uh, we see that uh, the witnesses, the Jehovah's Witnesses all over the world, uh, they do not honor the governments, as Romans 13 and 1 says, to support and honor your governments. They do not do that. They take a stand against the governments all over the world. And therefore, witnesses over and over again are facing imprisonments, um, uh, chastisements, embarrassments, humiliations by all over the world and especially in Russia and some of these countries. So we see this example happening over and over again. I call it the Jehovah's Witness military and I was in it for 30 years. So uh, not only are we, we in it, we're going door to door, we're facing uh, people that slam their doors in your faces, people that swear at you. Um, some people in my case, they, they chase dogs after me in the rural areas and uh, it's not uh, a joyous time to be in, in the Jehovah's Witness military. And if you don't have a strong personality, this can cause PTSD, this post-traumatic stress that we experience over and over again. And many XJWs and Jehovah's Witnesses today are experiencing PTSD. And, and that's because we're in the Jehovah's Witness military. So here's a little slide just to show what it was like when I was going through my training.